Brainsplain. Adding patient insight to medical research. I owed my drug dealer on fentanyl. Out of money, I had no pills left. And I stood at a fork in the road and said, I can get clean or I can do heroin. As the opiate crisis continues to ravage America, there's new research into faster-acting versions of the tried-and-true opiate substitution therapy called buprenorphine. Buprenorphine is a partial opiate agonist, meaning that it acts like Oxycontin, fentanyl, and heroin, but the withdrawal effects are less severe and there's less potential for overdose. What is the advantage of fast-acting versions of buprenorphine? I asked some recovered addicts something that might be fast acting I'm not sure that would have been beneficial to me actually I, I know it wouldn't have would there be a rush associated with the fast acting nature of it even uh, though it isn't a full absolutely yes you know like what other problems could come from someone abusing suboxone especially an immediate release one that's it is classified as an opioid itself it doesn't have the full effect of an opioid but it can kind of bind up the parts of your brain that uh, respond to opioids and you can get a little bit of a high actually from it there's a black market for suboxone anything that gives an addict a rush yeah. is probably something you want to stay away from because I know for me that would be a trigger Fair. to feel that rush I'd be like ooh I miss that like how can I get that again if you are so close to using that you need suboxone in your system now yes. you're probably already out buying something it's been patented by the Sackler family Richard Sackler in particular and he's been in the news recently because his family was responsible for Oxycontin Purdue Pharma Purdue Pharma yes. I got gotcha. you they're the subject of like yes. a thousand lawsuits I know well <laughs> I can't support someone who created a problem then making money off the solution. How ridiculous is that? Yeah. That someone who put a drug on the market, said that it wasn't addictive, told doctors, yeah. yes, this is great, this is perfect for your patients, pain is the new vital sign, you know, like we went through all of that, and now that we're in trouble, he's like, guess what? I can make a whole lot of money off you know, patenting something that now can be used for the problem that I created. One recent study relying on forced choice surveys shows that patients notice a significant benefit of a new buprenorphine formulation dissolving faster. They also report that the new one tastes significantly better. But as we've seen talking to patients, these may not be the most important considerations of actual patients in the real world. What would patients rather see funding for? Study, what do you want money to go to? A person in recovery that's on their last week being able to try different things like the CBD oil, um, microdosing, things like that. CBD, THC worked for you. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but personalized medicine, you'd be very interested in finding out what it is right. about some people that make these alternative therapies work for them. We don't even have that discussion in the hospital. What are your research priorities if you could de help design a grant? for researching recovery. 100% non-medication therapies. As a country, we gear towards researching medications. As far as money going in, more support groups, not just NA and AA, because that's so God-related, you know, yeah. finding a higher power, and a lot of people are turned away by that. And then always keeping in mind that access piece, you know, like research might come out that this new Suboxone works really well, but how many drug addicts can afford right. a top tier medication like do they even have insurance well it, ideally it sounds good but it doesn't necessarily translate to helping people thanks to my guests for adding patient insights to medical research for Madden America this is Brainsplain